I talked about my pre-workout snacks, but I didn't mention electrolytes, so I wanted to touch on that a little bit. Um, for pre-workout electrolytes, I always make sure I have a little bit of uh, sea salt in my water. So I use Redmond Sea Salt. I love this brand. Um, and then if I'm feeling, you know, super sore or just depleted, I'll make sure that I take either an electrolyte supplement. So I like this Keto Vitals um, capsules. They have potassium, magnesium, sodium. Um, I'll take that or Perfect Keto has the same type of thing. I actually ran out of their bottle, so I don't have that here. Um, or I'll do like an electrolyte drink, so either Ultima Replenisher or Keto Vitals just came out with these new electrolyte powders. Um, so I'll either do that in water or I'll make electrolyte gummies or jello, and I have those recipes um, in my book. And yeah, so that's kind of my pre-workout electrolytes, just making sure that I'm staying up with those. That's a huge mistake I find with a lot of people. Um, they have, especially if you're first starting keto, super low energy, headaches, fatigue, all of that. A lot of that can be contributed to an imbalance of electrolytes and not, you know, having enough, especially sodium. So you want to make sure that you're getting that in um, as best you can. And these are just some good options that I would recommend. So what is up yeah. my keto people? So real quick, here's a drink that I use quite often in the morning times before intensive exercise, things like basketball or long hours of weight training or CrossFit. This drink helps, um, it helps me really stay hydrated by um, having a really good amount of electrolytes in there. There's some BCAAs that not only taste great, but also help prevent muscle breakdown. And then some really nice vitamins from the organic lemon juice and a little cayenne pepper to make it taste like Lucas. And once you add them all together, it tastes really great. It can also help those of you who are fighting the keto flu to maintain your electrolytes as well because that can cause some issues when you're just getting into keto. So a great drink to use when adapting to ketosis or when you're already in ketosis for athletic activities or just to maintain your electrolytes. All right, here we go. So here I already have a glass with a little bit of ice and some of that organic lemon juice here I got from Costco. They sell it for a pretty good price there, so you guys definitely jump on that. Next we're doing one scoop of BCAAs. All right, makes it taste great. This is a just a straight BCAA blend here. No sugar or anything. So some people say that BCAAs kick you out of ketosis because of the amount of amino acids, specifically leucine in there. However, I think before athletic activities, especially if you're trying to put on muscle, BCAAs are okay. And I've been taking them for several months now and I test myself with the keto strips and it says I'm still in ketosis, so that's good to me, guys. So that's why I still use BCAAs, okay? So here we go. Half a teaspoon of sea salt, one scoop of BCAAs, about 50 to 70 grams of organic lemon juice, or you know, one to two lemons, a little bit of cayenne pepper here to make it taste nice and sweet. Spicy, give it a little kick. All right, and I would usually make this in my shaker, but today I'm making it in this Guinness glass so you guys can see what it looks like and everything. We've got some breakfast about to be made here, bacon, eggs, cheese, but we'll get to that later. And here we go, guys, the Lucas Green apple electrolyte drink for pre-workout or adapting to ketosis. Get your electrolytes in and good luck. Cheers.